My name is Joelle, I am 21 years old and this summer I graduated from Amsterdam University College. And because I know that the application deadline for Amsterdam University College is on the 1st of February, I thought it would be nice to make a video in which I give you some tips for if you're applying. So for the people that are not yet willing to apply to Amsterdam University College and that just ended up in this video through the random YouTube algorithm, I will shortly explain what Amsterdam University College is. So Amsterdam University College, or AUC as its AUC kids like to call it, is a liberal arts and science college in Amsterdam in the Netherlands. And a liberal arts and sciences college is a university, but it's a bit different from the regular Dutch university and it resembles more the American or the UK system. So instead of picking one set program of courses, within a number of constraints you are basically free to build your own program out of the courses that they offer. And university colleges in the Netherlands are selective programs, so they only allow a certain number of people in each year. And with that, they are very much looking for a specific profile of ambitious, motivated students that don't only want to study at AUC but also want to contribute to the community. So for that reason, part of the Amsterdam University College application process is a study plan and self-assessment and it is sort of like a motivation letter, but it has a very specific structure, but they also want you to be quite specific on what kind of program you would want to build for yourself if you were to come study at AEC. And because this can be quite complicated and, you know, your regular how to write a motivation letter tips don't necessarily fit the mold of the study plan and self-assessment at AEC, and because when I had to do this three and a half years ago, I had no clue what I was doing and I was just sort of like faring blindly into it. I thought it would be nice to give some tips from the perspective of a recent graduate. But please don't just rely on this video. I will talk about some documents in this video that you can use when you are working on your application. And please also check those documents and the AEC website, just so you're sure that you're doing exactly what is being asked from you. And just don't blindly follow my advice because I don't want to be accountable <laughs> if anything that I'm saying is not correct or outdated. So please make sure to do your own research as well. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. So having said all that, I think we can get started on the tip. So my first and maybe my most important tip is don't self-reject. I know that when you look at the AUC website and you see all the requirements, it can look very daunting. You might not meet all the requirements and it's very natural to then feel like, oh, why would I even try? I was in that position three years ago and I really can't imagine that you might be in that position too. But the only way that you're gonna maybe be admitted into AUC is by filling in that application. So if this is something that you really want, fill in that application, just go for it. No need to reject yourself before someone else does. Have confidence and if you feel that you might fit the program, it is worth to give it a shot. And if you are missing out on some of the requirements, there is also a place in your study plan and self-assessment where you can elaborate on this. So that will be more towards the end of the video, but please stay tuned if you want to receive some tips for that. So I will link down below the official documentation from AUC about the study plan and self-assessment. I was very happy to see that it hasn't changed that much. Barely has changed actually since I applied, so that's good. So in the first part of your study plan and self-assessment, AC asks you to elaborate on why you are interested in this specific study program. And I think for this part there are a few things that I think would be smart to include in this section. So firstly, I think it's very important to explain here why the Liberal Arts and Sciences program of AUC would benefit you over a regular university program. 
because a liberal arts and sciences program is really very different from a regular university program, at least in the Netherlands. So of course, as I already said, the program is very flexible, so you are very free in what courses you want to pick. But the program is also residential and very focused on community building and community learning. There are a lot of extracurricular opportunities at AUC, so I would say that the freedom to create your own program is really at the core. But basically all the things that I just said, and maybe you can come up with something else are things that would make you want to choose the AUC program over a regular university program. And I think it's very important that you elaborate on this because the admissions committee wants to know what it is that AUC has to offer you over whatever other university program in the Netherlands. And then with regard to the community aspect, I also think that it's very important to show that you're not only interested in the academic side of Amsterdam University College, but also in the community and social side, because that is just something that is very important to the identity of the college and they are looking for people that want to contribute to that. And thirdly, I also think that it is very important to elaborate a bit on your personal background, because Amsterdam University College tries to create cohorts that are as diverse as possible. And sort of when I heard this, I got quite scared because until I moved to Amsterdam to go to Amsterdam University College, I have lived in the same small 3000 people village all my life. I didn't have any very crazy extracurricular activities that I did. I did some singing, I did some sports, and I worked crappy side jobs. And I remember being very scared that that would just not be enough to really make me the diverse person that they are looking for. And when I went to the open day, I actually talked to a member of the admissions committee about this. And the person reassured me that diversity is a very broad concept. And in a pool of applicants where a lot of people are expats that have traveled the world their whole lives, or people that are professional dancers or professional athletes, not being that is also a form of uniqueness. So really don't be discouraged if you are thinking to yourself, well, I'm not that diverse, I'm not that special, because in a sense, not being special is also a form of being special. So just try to elaborate on anything that you can think of that will set you apart from the rest of the applicants in terms of your personal background. And then I think the most complicated part of the admissions process is definitely coming up with your personal study plan. And I think it's very important to mention that this study plan is not definite. No one will be holding you to the choices that you made in your application. So don't stress too much about making the exact right choices. But what is very important is that you show that you understand how the AEC curriculum works. And I know that that is quite complicated so there is an in-depth description of the AC curriculum and how everything works, which I will be linking down below. But to help you out a bit, I will give a short explanation of how the curriculum works and what things you really need to include in your personal study plan. So your personal study plan is about your first two years at AUC. And what is important is that they do like you to complete all your mandatory courses in those first two years. What is also important is that the requirements are a bit different depending on which major you choose. So at AUC you can choose to major in the sciences, social sciences or the humanities. So it is important to make a decision on what you would like your major to be at AUC before you start working on your personal study plan. So when writing your personal study plan you want to include the following in your first semester. An introductory theme course in your chosen major, academic writing skills, and a method course. So if you're a science major, you want to include calculus. If you are a social science major, you want to include basic research methods and statistics one, or statistics for science. And if you are applying as a humanities major, you want to include the course Introduction to Literary and Cultural Theory. And then in the second semester, you want to be doing logic, information and argumentation and the global identity experience. And then if you are a science major, you also want to include in this semester a second methods course, which can be either statistics for sciences or linear algebra. And if you are a social science or humanities major, you want to include your second methods course 
in your third semester. So if you're applying as a social sciences major, you want to choose either basic research methods and statistics two, qualitative research methods or calculus for economics. And if you are applying as a humanities major, you want to include introduction to visual methodologies. And then other mandatory courses that you need to include somewhere in your plan for your first two years, but for which you are more free in choosing when exactly you want to do them, are two consecutive levels of the same language. And consecutive and the same is really important. You cannot choose to do two different languages and you also cannot decide to skip a level. So that is very important to take into account. A big question scores and a community project or internship or CPI for short. So those are all the mandatory courses that you want to include in your study plan for your first two years at AUC. And then what is also important to take into account is that one, you need to make sure that it would theoretically be possible to have 10 courses that fall within your major at the end of your third year. So the rest of the space you can fill up with whatever courses that you would want, but take into account that most of those courses will have to fall within your major. And to see which courses fall within your major, you can use the placements, which are included in the curriculum structure document that I linked down below. And what is also very important is that you theoretically would fulfill enough prerequisites to take 300 level courses in your final semester. So the way the AAC curriculum works is that there are three levels of courses, 100 level, which are typically followed in your first year, 200 level, which are typically followed in your second year, and 300 level that are typically followed in your third year. But although you can deviate a bit from when you take which type of course, you usually need prerequisites for the higher levels. So if you want to do a 200 level course, you usually need a prerequisite 100 level course. And if you want to do a 300 level course, you usually need to take a prerequisite 200 level course. So I'm not entirely sure how strict they are in checking this, but just make sure that you do also include some 200 level courses into your study plan so that they could theoretically give you entrance to enough 300 level courses. And usually courses that are prerequisites for other courses are in the same track. And the track basically represents a set of courses in a specific area of studies. So if you want to take 300 level courses in the health track, then you will probably have to do a 200 level course in the health track, etc. Again, I don't think they are too strict with checking this, but just make sure that you include some 200 level courses that are from the tracks that you would also want to probably do 300 level courses in. And what is also important to take into account, which I'm not sure how strict they are on this either, but I think it's good to know, is that not all courses are taught every semester. So most of the 100 level courses are taught every semester, but the 200 and 300 level courses are usually only taught once a year. So yeah, I'm not really sure how strict they are on this, but I do think it just helps if you take this into account in your personal study plan, because it just shows that you are aware of that concern. And overall, I would recommend you to really be explicit in how you make these choices. So really say, I chose to do calculus because I want to be a science major and as a science major it is required that I take this course in this semester because that just really shows that you understand the program and the curriculum and for your free choice courses also try to relate them back to the reasons why you are interested in the AUC program so then your self-assessment might feel like a bit of a scary one because it gets quite personal but i think that it's important to keep in mind that they are just looking for people that fit sort of the spirit of the AC program. So in the capacities and ambition section, firstly, what they really want to see is a motivation to learn. They want people 
that are really going to see AUC as an opportunity to increase their knowledge and skills. And then, of course, they are also looking for people with strong academic skills. So, of course, if you have very high grades, mention this. But if you have any skills that you're very proud of that are not academic, also really don't hesitate to show them. Because they are really not only looking for academic robots, but also for people that have strong social or leadership skills, for example. And I think ambition is also a very important part. And I think they are mainly looking for people that don't only have the ambition to increase their knowledge for the sake of knowledge, but that also have the ambition to make a societal impact with the knowledge that they will gain at AUC. So of course this is a very personal section, but I think those three things are nice to keep in mind when you're writing it and can give you some guidance on what kind of competencies and ambitions to focus on. And then knowing your strong points and facing up to challenges, I think I found it the hardest part to write myself. And I also wouldn't really know how to advise you here because it is so incredibly personal. But I think what they want you to show is that you are able to give an honest evaluation of yourself. So that you are able to recognize the things that you are good at, but also able to see the things that you are less good at and critically reflect on how you can mitigate the effects of the things you are less good at on your performance in life. And in terms of the difference between capacities and strong points, I personally focused a bit more on sort of the academic, professional side in the capacity section and also try to link it to my goals. And in the strong points section, I talked about things that are more general, social, personal, if that gives some guidance. But definitely for this section, being able to be honest about what you are good at and what you are less good at and the ability to deal with the things you are less good at are the key things that you want to stress here. And then in terms of sharing values, here what I think they are looking for is just to double check whether you would fit in a community like AUC because the school does aim to create a safe and open environment and a few shared values in that regard I think are very important. Some of the things that I think they find most important is being accepting of others. So of course you are able to very strongly disagree with other people's viewpoints but you do have to be willing to listen to someone with different viewpoints and have a balanced and open and honest discussion about disagreements. And I also think that they find it very important to have people who realize that by being surrounded by people that are different from them they can learn from other people. So they are looking for people that are open to and actively looking for such opportunities. And I also think that they are looking for people that are willing to contribute to building a strong community and fostering a community feeling. So they are looking for people that really want to be part of such a community and help create a inspiring and safe environment for everyone. So then the last part is about meeting requirements and of course if you meet all requirements, great! Just mention explicitly that you meet all the requirements or are expecting to be meeting all the requirements. But if you have any doubt about whether you will meet a certain requirement or if you feel that your grades do not really reflect your full academic potential, this is the place where you should elaborate on this. And don't worry, it's not a trap. They are not <laughs> trying to see you dig your own grave here. They just want to know whether you're confident that you will be able to successfully complete the AUC program, even though you might not meet some of the requirements. Please don't be scared to give the actual reason why this is the case, if there is a good reason for it. 
because having extenuating circumstances in any sense of the word is something that they will take into account. And I think it is very important here to, if you have any deficiencies, mention the deficiencies, but try to focus the rest of this section either on how you are planning to solve these deficiencies. For example, if you have a deficiency in English, maybe you will take an extra course over the summer, or if it's more generally not being very satisfied with the grades you have, explain why you believe that these are not representative and why you think that you would still be a great candidate to come study at AEC. And really, as I said in the beginning, don't self-reject because I know lots of people that have gotten into AEC without meeting all the requirements. So the best thing you can do is to just fill it in and try to stay confident and express confidence in your own ability in this section. So yeah, those are the four sections of the study plan and self-assessment. If you have written all these four sections, then that is your study plan self-assessment. Congratulations, you are ready to submit it. I hope it was helpful to get a bit more of an insight of how the AC curriculum works and what to focus on when writing your study plan and self-assessment. And do keep in mind that these are just tips on what you should focus on, but please don't use them to make up lies. I really strongly feel that if you have to lie in your study plan and self-assessment, you probably will also not enjoy being at AC at all. So yeah, of course you can use these guidelines as just, okay, I'll just type that, I'll just type that and I'm done. But if these are not things that you can honestly say about yourself, then I don't think you should apply in the first place because then AC might just not be for you. And also remember that these are just the main points, but I think that creativity, originality and uniqueness are very important. So use these tips to focus your writing, but really also try to make it unique and personal to you, because that is in the end what the admissions committee would like to read, what will probably get you the highest chance of being admitted. And if you are applying, please let me know in the comments, I would love to know. And if you have any further questions about the application process, then also please don't hesitate to leave them down below. I will make sure to regularly check the comments and answer them. And if you would like to see more EC related videos, then also make sure to let me know. And then I think that is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I wish you all the best of luck with your application.